We're back with more Diablo 4 Server Slam Beta. We're going to be going through every character, giving quick tips, tricks, everything you can think of that I learned from my time playing this and the other open beta. Giving recommendations on builds and uh, stuff to get you started. We're currently playing as a rogue, and that is a good pickup right there. Which one is it better than more than more? Yeah, way better than that. And that is weaker. So we are currently playing as a rogue. We are doing a setup with more melee focus. But we have a nice range with our throwing knife. We have been finding a absolute ton of drops. We're trying to get to the town as fast as we can. So we could, uh, ooh, bone staff, what? That is gonna be nice for when we start our druid. The angel in. That's not Linger. Key overshot lies just ahead. But we are going to be playing every single class. Hold. To enter the city, you must we first. have no time for this. And uh, giving tips on every class. In the other beta, I got all classes to, to max. They had a nice. Increase in legendary drop rate in the first beta. And I got pretty much legendaries across every single character, every single thing. It was pretty, pretty fun. I think I put in... I played bowl weekends, I probably put in closer to 100, maybe a little more than 100 hours. So, I got a good amount of play time. This is a waste of time. So, I've got a little bit of experience. I have thousands of hours in the other Diablo games. So, I've got a, a good amount of knowledge on it. I'm not, like, uh, as knowledgeable as, as, say, Riker or some of the other people you may watch. But... I'm off to the dry steps in search of that pale man from your We do the best we can here. I must know. Crack twos. Sway back. We're gonna go inside and change all of our gear to what we put in the box from our necromancer that we were playing earlier. So the old man. Wait. The old man sold me this too. Said he didn't need it anymore, but I think he wanted it back all the same. Which should give us a very big boost to our character. <sighs> well, Bob's occasionally appear, go to the mark location to participate. Do not think the world boss is up yet. I have to rush to get to a level to fight it. But we should go sell first, that is right. Almost forgot about that. Father Bless, what do you need? You can take what's left. Some of this stuff here would be good for other characters, like this magic short sword would be probably good on other characters. So we're going to trade out this stuff for stuff in our box.
Another good thing is, your looks carry over from other characters. So any looks you've broken down on other characters, you can change them. And you can change them to this look. Alright, let's see. Locked to level 10. We should be hitting that pretty quickly, so let's find a good pair of boots. This is 13. I don't know why it changed level, but they were lower level before. This is way better. By 46. By 49. So we're going to take this one. And then we're going to take this one. We're gonna take this one. No, oh, not gonna only. Never mind. We're gonna take <laughs> this one. I think we have boots. These aren't as good. I think we need gloves. Let's go over here and change our equipment. So we are going to put that in storage. We are going to equip this. We are going to equip this. We're going to salvage. No. Yeah, we're going to store that because a wizard sorcerer could use that. Salvage that. Equip. Or that. So, now we should have one helmet that needs to go in. This should go in. Now we have 717 armor, which is pretty good for a lower level. No skill points, so we're going to go up and we can complete two quests up top, which should give us close to our level. Need something for it? We have nothing here for that, so let's sell all junk. Nothing good, nothing good. Now, up here. Here, this is one of the easiest starting quests. All you gotta do is cheer. The new militia recruits have been trained. Which is pretty simple. Boom. Impressive. Thanks. I hope that quick EXP, open that. We were born in sin. Children. Of darkness, but the Father's light can be sought through penitence and faith. Walk in the light. We must be ever vigilant against sin, brother. Yes, Reverend Mother. 
Let the light of Inarius burn away wickedness. Let not temptation lead you from his holy radiance. Let righteousness sear away corruption and sin. Cast out thy darkness, for only light must remain. Cast out thine darkness, for only light must remain. Is this the one from the vest? Yes, Reverend Mother. Did Lorath not accompany you? He sent me on without him. Putting faith in that old man was a mistake. What could possibly be of greater import? Here, take the knight's report before you go. Reverend Mother, I received almost a gained the level. So that's where we're gonna go next. Yelesna, and then somewhere down around here is where our actual location is gonna be that we're going. We're gonna check out a different dungeon that's really good for gaining levels and stuff like that. It seems they fixed one of the biggest issues with the previous beta, where we had rubber banding at the exits. So you would be stuck, not able to leave. You would rubber band like crazy and get stuck. strong now. What is this? Journal. Hey guys, horse does not like to load that well. There we go, eight. Let's get this one. Ricochet is really good. Really good for clearing.
down here for your last now. try and speed through gaining levels and get as close to 20 as possible before the world boss pops up. It should be today the world boss comes. What do you need? Twenty one, that's not enough. Take a chance, Wanderer. You never know when you're gonna run into a whispering chest, and you always want to have at least one key. I provide a steady. Those ricochets really come in handy. Getting a lot of cool hearts. Not sure exactly how many we need, but we need to throw them out. I think we have all of the ghoul hearts we need now because they stopped spawning. Pretty short work of that. Not better at all, man. But we have unlocked our shadow step, which, if you remember from the previous video, is what we're using the Twisting Blades cooldown reduction to make this spawn faster. There it is, Dead Man's Dredge. Pretty good for the cooldown reduction, I gotta say. And this is the dungeon we're going to be doing in the next video. If you've liked this so far, like, comment, and uh, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.